hi guys welcome back to random lifestyle vlog so today i'm going to show you all the products i've used up uh in the last two months you know i did not really do the empties video last month so there is a lot so i just put everything not everything but most of the things here and i'm just going to show you one by one uh, all the products uh that i actually tried and tested and what i think about them okay so i'm going to start with hair products uh the first uh, pair of products i'm going to talk about is this we are paradox moisture conditioner and moisture shampoo so uh, i do like the fact that they have like aluminum kind of bottles uh not too much plastic or anything like that cool they apparently contain, contain argan oil which sounds good the problem is that um i think these products are more suitable for like very fine hair so the shampoo seems to be very gentle it seems like i mean i almost have this feeling like it doesn't really cleanse my uh hair properly and then the conditioner is very lightweight too so as i said i'm pretty sure this will be perfect for very fine hair not necessarily for the type of hair i have next up some of my staples so we do have some philip kingsley i have this uh, tiny uh tube of elasticizer this is the mayan vanilla and orange blossom so you know one of those is 40 mils then i have a full size of the elasticizer extreme by philip clingsley and honestly if i have to be honest i don't really see much difference between the extreme and the regular version so you know uh, and then uh we have olaplex number three which works pretty much the same way as the elasticizer which is like a pressure point treatment you apply it on your wet hair uh just keep it there for like 15 minutes and then you just wash your hair normally with a shampoo uh personally i prefer elasticizer over all legs but that's just my preference okay another staple coco and eve for like a virgin my favorite hair mask it just smells divine i'm just i need to sniff it this is, this is just gorgeous so yeah i just i have a stash of these uh, i can never run out of it so yeah lovely so another one of my staples glaze by schwarzkopf so you probably saw me talking about this quite a lot before uh, you can get uh, these kind of like uh hair conditioners in pretty much everywhere in mainland europe like you know the grocery stores and like kind of drug stores every everywhere um but i love these these are perfect not necessarily as a um kind of leave-in conditioner but these are perfect to tangle your hair or to help to tangle your hair uh, i always go for the gold one or the black one uh these are the best for my hair type and also i like the scent the most uh, the only one i saw in the uk was the pink one with like uh, silk proteins or something like that uh and this one is more suitable for very like fine hair so if you have hair that is not really like too fine or too like delicate then you might actually uh just buy some of these whenever you're visiting any of the european countries uh, okay so this is the last hair product this is john joe hansford uh, illumin oil very pleasant hair oil i do love testing new hair oils this one was all right the, it didn't really change my world it didn't blow my socks off but it was all right okay two body products only two body products this uh, month uh, so we have elizabeth Arden eight hour cream all over miracle oil for face body and hair i use it for my body it has this very gentle floral scent um the way i use it i always apply it after shower when my skin is still wet i apply it directly to my like wet skin and then it just kind of absorbs uh nicely and it that doesn't leave that um like greasy residue uh yeah i like that one i'm probably not going to repurchase because i have plenty of body oil so and then the other product from the body category is a copari uh, deodorant this is the one with coconut oil uh it's an aluminum free kind of uh deodorant and this is a travel size and i have already repurchased a full size i really like it now let's move to the face category i have a lot of products here you can't see them because they're just all over here but there's a lot okay so let's start with the cleansing uh process so the first product is evlom cleanser i love it i love it i know that um, it has quite peculiar scent and some people don't really like it i actually do i actually like it uh, i do enjoy that cleanser this is one of my top three with elemis and um uh, emma hardy uh so yeah i loved it and i highly recommend it but you might not really like the scent because you know there are people who don't 
So as much as I do love using um, proper cleansers, like balm cleansers, when I remove uh, heavy duty makeup, like today's one, like for example, what I have on my face today, uh, for everyday makeup, I usually go for like face oils. Uh, so this is the Votary Cleansing Oil. This is the one with rose geranium and apricot, and this one is just gorgeous. It's like a very silky, lovely oil. I've tried the other one from this brand, which was, I think it was a parsley or something like that. And it was like too greasy and I didn't really like it that much. But this one, the one with rose geranium and apricot, lovely. So next up, we have Pixie Glow Tonic 5% Glycolic Acid. Everybody knows this product, right? This is a nice exfoliator in a toner. Uh, you can, in theory, use it every day, but you know, I would just suggest to adjust this, to adjust this to your skin needs. Uh, if you have sensitive skin, um, exfoliating every day might not be the best idea, especially with glycolic acid. Glycolic acid has like very small particle particles, uh, so you might actually want to start with something more gentle like mandelic acid or lactic acid, and then maybe just move to glycolic acid. And I wouldn't still use it like every day, but that's that's a very personal thing. Like you need to see what works for you. All right, next up we have La Roche Posay. This is Anthelios Anti Shine 50 SPF SPF 50 uh, sunscreen with UVB UVB and UVA. And this is a this is one of my favorite products in this uh, video. Actually, this is lovely. So since this is a very fine mist, uh, you can apply it all over your makeup. Uh, or like whenever you want to. It doesn't really create this like uh, white cast on your face. It doesn't create this like greasy residue, nothing like that. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Uh, one of my favorite SPF products. So now we're doing like a proper skincare. So let's maybe start with eye creams. So they're here. Uh, I have three eye creams to show you. Uh, first up, uh, we have Rodial Dragon's Blood Eye Gel. So this is the one with palm. Again, it has like a cup. It had like a cup, but I lost it. Uh, or I broke it. I think I broke it. I think it broke in half. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is like a nice cooling um, product. There's nothing like really uh, too extremely surprising about it. Nice cooling, depuffing kind of product, a little bit hydrating. Um, yeah, I liked it. Not loved it. Not loved. Then I have like two Elemis products and uh, this is this is a big love. This is Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. Guys, I love this one. This is this has like a really interesting formula. It's like a um, milky gel. That doesn't make sense, does it? But it is a little bit like that. So it absorbs really quickly, but then it doesn't really feel like super thin, like, you know, like typical gel. Uh, it is really lovely. I do love this product. I highly recommend it. I might actually purchase it because it is so good. The other product from Elemis I have is Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. So this is Anti-Wrinkle Eye Serum. So this one is more like a lotiony kind of watery formula. Uh, this was just alike. Nothing really spectacular about it. It was alright. It was alright and that's just it. And it didn't really last that long. So yeah. So we're going to smoothly move to another a category. Uh, this is Elemis Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. Uh, this is a night cream. I love it. Like, I love it. This is my favorite, one of my favorite Elemis products, probably along with the uh, uh, eye mask. They're, they're both amazing. Uh, gorgeous. Unfortunately, not too cheap. There are cheaper uh, night creams from Elemis, but you know, my skin for some reason likes this one. So. Not much I can do about it. I love it. Amazing. Um, I would probably recommend this for drier or more sensitive skin tones. It's quite rich. So the other night cream I've actually used up uh, recently is Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. And this one is very gorgeous. And I also do love the applicator. I love the, the pump. Uh, this is so much more hygienic. And I do love the fact that I don't have to dab my fingers in it. So I'm going to start my day creams uh, with... <laughs> Agustinus Bader, the rich cream. I love it. Uh, this is like a very nutritious, rich cream. It might be a little bit too heavy for some skin types, uh, but this is perfect for dry and sensitive skin, which I have. Uh, for me, amazing. I actually have like a huge backup of these products uh, after like recent advent calendars and boxings. Uh, but yeah, I really like it, so that's good. Uh, but I'm pretty sure not everybody will love it. If, it. if this is too heavy for you, you can always try the cream. The, the original cream is actually much lighter. Next up, we have a Rodial Vitamin C. This is SPF 30 Moisturizer. 
you can't really see much because you know just for some reason the letters disappeared this one is a really nice really nice uh, spf 30 moisturizer doesn't really leave anything weird on your face it absorbs quite nicely i really like that this one here is saturday skin waterfall glacier water cream uh quite peculiar i have to tell you this one um has something in it that must be like cooling uh because it kind of creates this uh impression of like your skin being like almost wet uh it is quite cool but the problem i have with it it leaves my skin quite sticky so i kind of avoided using it uh, before doing my makeup because it just it just felt weird so not my favorite but it has like really interesting it creates this really interesting sensation when you apply it on your face so yeah okay guys serums uh i'm going to start with let's start with sunday riley i might be a little bit biased because i pretty much love anything by sunday riley i have to tell you so you know i don't think there was a single product i didn't like i have two vitamin c serums i love them both uh this one is ceo glow vitamin c plus turmeric face oil and this one here is CEO 15% vitamin C plus phytosterols serum. So the most obvious difference is in the formula, this is like a lightweight oil. This one is like a lotion. Uh, I like them both, but there's one thing I need to mention. I used them, uh, I just alternated them. I used uh, this one one day and this one the other day. And this one actually lasted me, the oil one, lasted me twice as long as this one. And they're both 15 mils. So I think you just should know. Next up, Murat uh, Rapid Collagen Infusion. Um, nice hydrating serum, nothing too spectacular. I would not repurchase. Okay, here I have something from America. <laughs> I have PCA Skin. This is uh, the peptide serum. This was gorgeous. This is really lovely. I do love peptides in my morning skincare routine, so I really enjoyed using that one. And here we have the Byros, I think, or Byro Tomato Serum. This one was actually apparently worth over $160, if I remember correctly, which is crazy. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but would I pay $160 for it? No way. Okay, uh, this one is much cheaper. This is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5, very solid kind of hyaluronic acid serum. Nothing much to add. I don't really think you need like an expensive hyaluronic acid serum. So I think this is perfectly enough. My last serum is from Dr. Barbara Sturm, and this is a night serum. Uh, this is uh, one of my least favorite products from Dr. Barbara Sturm. There are some that are amazing, but this one is just all right. It's like a, it contains hyaluronic acid uh, and some like plant extracts, and that's pretty much it. Nothing to write home about. Okay, so we're almost done with the skincare. We have three more products. Uh, first up, we have Doctor's Formula, and this is eight hour repair, uh, eight hour deep repair mask. Uh, with marine collagen i don't know how you feel about this brand guys but for me it, there's like something missing this is supposed to be like super expensive and then you can get these products for like really cheap and there was like night cream that i used before that i really liked and this there's something about the scent of it that makes me i don't know it just feels like it might be old or maybe it just smells like that i just don't like it i'm not going to use it so that's going so next up, I have a Moravica Deep Cleansing Mask. I really like that one. I would repurchase, but I already have like a massive backup of those. So I don't really need to repurchase. And the last one is Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask with a Vitamin Fruit Complex. And this one, it was all right. The best part about it, it, it was that it actually smelled amazing. It's like applying like a fruit kind of puree on your face. Really nice experience. Okay, guys, let me quickly finish with the makeup items. Uh, there are a couple of those, not too many. I'm going to start with this one. This is Candy Cosmetics Pre Glow Up Mist. And uh, I do love setting sprays, okay? I do love setting sprays. I do love like dewy skin after applying my makeup. So this one was really good. It had this like golden particle, so that made my skin super glowy. I loved it. Next up, I have two setting powders. This one is uh, Laura Mercier one of my staples i love it uh and the other one is from hourglass this is a veil one it's uh not as good as the laura mercier in my opinion but it's not bad too i mean i like it not love like so now we have some uh Nyad photography fluid opacity 12 percent this is 30 mils and this is highlighting system so it's more like a primer that gives you this like a highlighting effect and i don't know guys this just does not really look for me I look so weird when I apply this on my face, like I'm sweaty or something like that, so 
I don't know, maybe the, the different opacity will work better for me. I'm not really sure how that's, that's, that's supposed to work. But uh, yeah, I used it like a couple of times, like five or six, and I'm just getting rid of that because I just, it just doesn't look good on me. Okay, so let's finish this video with a couple of mascaras. I have Pat McGrath. Uh, Labs Fetishized Mascara, so this is this one here, and then I have By Terry Mascara Terribly, so this is that one. Um, By Terry Mascara, to be honest guys, doesn't, didn't really do much to my eyelashes, it's pretty much like a very natural kind of look, mascara, nothing, um, nothing too crazy, very natural, not something I was looking for. The Pat McGrath one though was actually really nice, I really enjoyed using it. Um, was it my number one mascara in the world? It wasn't. It was top 10 maybe. So still good because I'm very picky when it comes to my mascaras. But nothing I will just really need to repurchase like straight away. So these are all my empties, like beauty empties, all the products I've used up recently. What do you think? Have you tried any of those? What are your thoughts about these products? Uh, if you try them, uh, or maybe there's something that you'd like to try but you never actually did. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to see you very soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.